first of all, I want to welcome from the Road Commission of Oakland County, Cindy Dingle. Did I do that right? Because did that right. I used Thank to you. say it like the Oakland County Road Commission. That's not correct, right? <laughs> it's the Road Commission for Oakland County. For, I said, oh, it's the Road Commission for correct. Oakland County. And, and I know you're in the PR department. What's your official title? Uh, I'm just an assistant in public relations. Assistant in, you're not just... And you are the assistant in public relations. Well, I like to say I'm Craig Bryson's intern (laughs) because I learn from him every day. (laughs) You're a lot more than Craig Bryson's intern. Craig Bryson is the director of public relations at the county. He'll be here really at the the road commission for Oakland County. Um, He'll be here in a little bit. Um, I've known, in all honesty, I've known um, Cindy for a long time because we used to run into each other hanging around in Lansing years yeah. past when we were both occupied in other professions. It's really good to see you again today. We'll chat with you in a minute. And uh, let's say hello and good morning to Debbie Binder, our amazing clerk in West Bloomfield. Hi, Debbie. You are too kind, Dave. Well, it's, kind. I'm only telling the truth. You, you're, you. you're doing a great job. You're working so hard. Uh, uh, on behalf of everyone here in our fine township. So it's good to see you this morning. Thank you for including me. Well, it's great to be here and great to have you here. So exciting day. Exciting day. And I just wanted to mention when you were talking about the school districts, we have seven school districts in West Bloomfield all closed today. Well, I, you know, I didn't check because I've been so busy getting this thing ready. Every school district. Every can, school district. Let's see. Seven, could I name all seven school districts? Okay. In West Bloomfield. Okay. West Bloomfield, Bloomfield Hills. Birmingham, right? Mm-hmm. Birmingham's got a little bit. Okay. Yep. Uh, Walled Lake. Mm-hmm. Now I'm in trouble. What are the other three? Pontiac. Really? Pontiac and West Bloomfield. Waterford. Okay. And Farmington Hills. CP, I, oh, of course, Farmington Hills. You know, I didn't, people Farmington don't, Public. Yeah, people don't think about all those districts and a little piece of them all being in our township. Yeah, it's it, we're, the next closest is five school districts, and most of them don't have more than two, if any. Vast majority of our township residents, though, um, their children attend West Bloomfield schools. Yes, West Bloomfield is the largest district in West Bloomfield. Bloomfield Hills next? Don't know. Okay, well, school district trivia will be on another day here <laughs> on uh, Civic Center I'll TV. I'll study and <laughs> prepare for it. <laughs> and uh, WBTV and WBLD. Um, Debbie, this is a really exciting day for the township. I mean, this you haven't been in elected office here during this whole thing, but... Uh, wow. I mean, this is huge, huh? It's exciting. It really is to see it come to fruition and all the effort involved. And and it's kind of interesting that it comes off the the snowstorm that you guys got to deal with last night. But we got a beautiful day, an absolutely gorgeous sunny day to present the new boulevard. It's been a lot of work. I came in, as you said, at the tail end. I wasn't involved in the planning part of it per se, but it's been a joy other than the traffic to watch it come together. Well, it's always a little bit of pain in the neck when, when the orange barrels are out. Um, Cindy Dingle from the road, uh, the the road commission for Oakland County. Uh, you know that. I'm sure people complain when, you know, you're working on roads. You're probably used to that. But, you know, it just is what it is. It's one of those things. we we got to get the roads fixed to be able to have what we need. Right. Not only get them fixed, but make them safer for the motorists, too, as we did on the Orchard Lake, now Boulevard uh, Road Project. I have to say West Bloomfield's been phenomenal at uh, working and partnering with us as we move forward to improve the road system here. And, you know, safety is one thing, but improving capacity and making traffic flow better like we did on Maple and the Maple Orchard Lake Road intersection and uh, other, you know, projects that are on the horizon or that we've done in the past, it, it actually is functioning quite well. Well, you know, it's a real challenge, and we've talked about this earlier, but it's worth saying again, it, you've got a lot of traffic um, in the morning and in the evening commute. Uh, in the evening, for example, dumping off Northwestern Highway, right into Orchard Lake Road, and then it's got to get north and it's got to get west. Absolutely. And we just didn't have the ability to move those vehicles, let alone through here but onto the roadways that they would eventually land on. Absolutely. And, we're, you know, from my observation, we're in much better shape now. I think so. I think, you know, short-term pain, long-term gain. So when you've got projects like this that are going, especially on, on Orchard Lake, and we knew that this one was going to be a little more extensive because of all the businesses and maintaining that traffic flow as the project moved forward, 
There were a lot of driveways to do. Um, we had to make sure that business access was maintained. It was really a good partnership with the township, the, the chamber, and the businesses to get this done. It was a collective effort. Well, and there were a lot of discussions, and that's why these discussions now, I know, have been going on for a long time. You know, there's the, uh, you know, there's the roundabout, no roundabout faction and conversation. There's a lot of different ways you can go and a, a lot of different things. But my question for you, we clearly needed more lanes, regardless of how it all got built. Absolutely. We needed more lanes. Why Boulevard? Why Boulevard? And what, or, or maybe rather than why, what does the Boulevard get us that we didn't have before? Well, you've got better turnarounds on it. So you've got safer access instead of cutting across five lanes and, you know, hoping that you make it to your destination. Now you can use the turnarounds just like they have on Telegraph and other major roads to make the traffic flow safer and easier and, see, and safer. See, it's interesting you say that because uh, Debbie Binder, I mean, I look at this and I think, well, this is, you know, like a city streetscape downtown sure. development where in a lot of communities they put pavers and lights and banners and we're going to have a lot of that stuff. And I, I was thinking the boulevard was more an aesthetic thing, but it's aesthetic and functional. It's absolutely functional. You think of the days where there was the dance in the middle turn lane to try to turn, you know, get into the <laughs> other side or turn where you were turning, and this will help with that flow. So there is a safety component to it. And the aesthetic part we're going to address in the spring when we look at the landscaping and we want it to be a functional, that you know, downtown feel and make it feel like the, the downtown West Bloomfield, and it will be beautiful well we got a we got an opportunity to put banners up and 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 we're going to have lighting on our roadway here it's already there some of the beautiful led lighting that illuminate but again functional and aesthetics both right it makes it look cooler but it also makes it a lot easier to see at night and the not cool part of the functional that i think cindy can address a little more just the the, the opportunity to look at the water flow, where, how the water flows and work with the drainage again. It like Absolutely. To, you know, it's so funny. Yeah. You, 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 it's not so cool, many, but it no, works. No, no, it's just cool. It's, it's cool that you mentioned that. It's interesting as we take time to really look at something close that we normally might not have time to. You take a look at the details. I didn't even think about water flow. I mean, wh wh why is that important, Cindy? Water flow is important. I, you know, the, the one thing that um, it's important to have a road with a good drainage system. You don't want the drain, the water pooling into the road system, which brings me to a winter maintenance tip. This is why we don't do sand on roads like this. Yeah, why don't you? Someone asked me the other day, they say, yeah, I'm going up north and they put sand on the roads. They don't put salt. But they don't have drainage. Okay. So when you've got drainage, you know, and they're called storm sewers, uh -huh. where the water goes into the grates on the side of the road and pr pretty much drains down. If you use sand, that gets into that drainage system and plugs it. And then, you you know, the, the risk that we have in winter maintenance is it pulling back on the road and refreezing and then causing, you know, a bigger hazard. Now, we do know a little bit in West Bloomfield about having problems with water mains right now. So, you know, that's water coming to us, not going away. But there's an awful lot going on below the roads that we never see. Lots of infrastructure. There's gas mains. There's um, water infrastructure. Um, some In some cases, Layers. there's... There's layers, and in, so, in some cases, there's stuff down there we don't know about until we open the road up. Who decides what we ended up with here? Is that uh, Cindy Dingle from the Road Commission for Oakland County? No. Uh, no. Who, no. Who decides? We have a pretty good engineering department mm -hmm. um, that takes a look at these and partners, obviously, with the community, too, to see what you want going forward. We don't just go in with parachutes and rip a road up. Uh, there's, years, <laughs> there's, years that, you know, there's years of planning that goes into it. And when you do a road, especially like this, you want to address the utilities under there. Because the last thing that we want is to pave close a brand new road, close it up, beautiful, and then all of a sudden here's a water main break. And, you know, because water infrastructure was not addressed during the initial project because the locals either didn't have money for it or didn't think they needed it at that time. So this has been, you know, a, a great road because everything got addressed from top all the way down into the dirt. And I also want to mention, too, sure. the way that this was done, you now have a walkable community. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, and th listen, you know, we talked about it earlier, but again, this thing was a mess. Let's just be honest. It was really <laughs> a mess. We had all these different developments that popped up over time, and when each one popped up, we tried to solve the unique problem related to that development, and then we ended up with these, you know, sub-roadways and in, in, in walkable solution and trying to make, you know, double left turns from the road to the sub-road to the parking lot for the mall i mean it was just it was something that needed to get done and and we've been living with something that was dysfunctional for so long that having this work and actually being able to i mean 
walking through here, you were taking your, I mean, no offense, but, and we did everything we could in the township, but walking through there, you're taking your life at hand, and it, it, you don't know, a car could be coming from anywhere, and now that's controlled much better. I think it's controlled much better. You know, we always ask drivers to please just be very vigilant of, you know, pedestrians and people sure. walking alongside the road. Um, you know, the biggest thing that we still see to this day, and it's unfortunate, and I do think that maybe this is a contributing factor to the number of deaths on r roads throughout Michigan mm -hmm. is, you know, the distracted driving. So anything we can do to get people to hands on the wheel and eyes on the road and, and be vigilant of what's, what's around, including other drivers, um, you know, that's an important safety message. For those of you not well. watching on TV right now, she had both hands at 10 and 2, like they taught you back in driving school. Absolutely. Yes. Right. Now, yes. that's important. It, you know, it, how it, often we chill and, you know, just sitting back in our car with turning the tunes up, maybe the phone rings and... You shouldn't do that. No, it can wait. It can wait. It's not worth your death or the death of somebody else. You know, and, and any death on any of the roads in Oakland County is tragic. We hate to see that. We hate to read about it. But, um, you know, again, our top priority at the Road Commission is safety. Cindy, we are, Debbie and I are really fired up. This is our town. We live here. You know, this is our big road project. You're doing these things everywhere all around Metro Detroit. How cool is this one? I mean, really? This is a great project. I, it, you know, I, I think it went very, very well. It, it, you know, took off without a hitch. Everybody was on the same page right from the planning, from the get-go, when we all sat in the room and uh, threw out the timeline. Of course, when you get into projects like this, there's a little bit of give and take at the end because we never know what Mother Nature is going to do, especially sure. when we have projects that go into late November. And the reason we didn't start this earlier is because we wanted to get Maple Road done first. Right. Well, there was an awful lot going on in the yeah. summer. Maple yeah. Road. I mean, it seemed like every mile road there was construction, and, and, it, and it was difficult, you know, for people to get west. But, you know, I, I'm sure there were good reasons why that happened. I'm not criticizing you know, anyone, Debbie. But to, to add to that, and I think it's important to acknowledge, it, it was tough on our businesses. It was, yeah. it was definitely not an easy thing. And one of, the, you know, Steve was in constant contact with the Road Commission, Steve Kaplan, and they were considerate in making sure that Maple was done before Orchard Lake to try to limit the impact to the businesses. Yeah, I will tell people listening about Steve and you, I, I've, I've personally seen it because we've gone together, but you guys really care about the businesses and you've stepped it up since you came into office. No criticism of the previous administration, but you know, at, at your meetings, you bring business people in, you let them tell their story, we get to learn about them and we see that on TV, the people at the meetings hear that, but even better than that, you guys get out and you visit those businesses, you, and you, you, you know, are a consumer of them, so you're out as ambassadors of goodwill, that is so great for the community. Thank you. Oh, it's important. They, 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 have, they can put their business anywhere they choose to be here. We need to support them, and we're grateful they're here. Well, you know, this is a hell of a strip of road here and some really valuable properties. I mean, even during this construction, there were people that were moving, building, enhancing, improving right in the teeth of it, okay, because they saw the benefit. Improved car dealerships, new strip malls, improvements around Northwestern, new hotel, you know, new retail establishments and developments. I think that speaks to the quality of this roadway coming to and in a very high value community, but a lot of people are driving through here, too, to get to where they live, and that may not be West Bloomfield. And Those are all great opportunities, Cindy, for our businesses. They are, and you have a lot of destination businesses up here, too, I've realized. So it, it's um, it's really neat to see. Um, and we yet there, there was a lot of road construction this, this past year. Um, you know, you got to remember, we've had 50 years plus of underfunding of the road system in the state of Michigan. So, of course, the legislature passed a new package, which you know put more money toward the roads and the citizens had a mandate they wanted to see roads improved by the way the honk the horns that are honking out there aren't because people are having trouble navigating your road they're honking because we told people to honk their horn oh. when they drove by so hello whoever that was a minute ago you. yeah uh thank you very much for making your presence known and thanks for tuning in um I, Cindy, we're going to do a ribbon cutting. What what happens at a road ribbon cutting? I've never been to one before. Well, the nice thing about <laughs> it is we're not going to be um, hold, holding traffic up to do the ribbon cutting. We'll just do a ceremonial one in front of Chris Valley's here. So uh, it's just kind of a more ceremonial thing. It's that the project is complete. It, you know, we want to celebrate a great partnership. Um, we want to also use this opportunity to say, hey, Orchard Lake's open. Come and use these businesses. 
All right. Well, we, we, we appreciate everything you've done, and, and it's, a, it's a great day for our community. And I think it's important to point out that partnership because it is. You know, as a township, we work with the county to get roads done, and it, it absolutely was a partnership that worked beautifully to give us a, a Well, and I was so impressed product. when I spent um, a half an hour with Marshall Labadee this morning, and I know he'll be back. I mean, there's a guy who worked really, really hard, and, and I know fought hard for West Bloomfield Township and all the residents to make sure that we got everything that we wanted to get. Um, you know, there's there's local knowledge and local preferences, I'm sure, as you go, uh, Cindy Dingle, from community to community. And, you know, I think I think we were heard, and, and I think Marsha was a pretty good advocate. He, uh, he went out of his way to make sure that we had funding and in, in different. Yeah, Marshall's been a class act to work with. He's, you Absolutely. know, uh, when I started here a couple of years back, it was um, n refreshing to see such a, well, you believe it or not, the Road Commission, and I won't talk about my past, but it's very, very well run. They really put a lot of thought and effort and communication. Are you telling me the government entities you worked for before weren't <laughs> as well run when you were in politics? Uh, this one's just, <laughs> the, 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 well, the, there's. No, I, I'm not asking for there, a there's no, that. Actually, there's no <laughs> politics here. It, they, just, they just get, just the get stuff it done. done. Just get it done, right. Right. Get her done. Talk about, uh, from a pure just road and transportation standpoint, Cindy, one more question, and then I'll spend some time with Debbie. But uh, what about the, I mean, uh, the, something unique here at the Maple and Orchard intersection. You have a huge need to get traffic off Orchard Lake Road, um, especially at the end of the day in the afternoon rush onto Maple. You've got the double left turn and you've got another set of double left turns coming the other way correct um i haven't seen that too many places talk about that and how's that working out that's what seems to be working well i mean we've been able to uh increase the the flow of traffic of course during the construction some of that was choked down because we didn't want them to right. run into the mm. construction zone right but now now the double left turn is up and it's running i've driven through it, it it's a little interesting the first time, but it yeah. seems to be working really well. Well, and we're not backed up any longer down to Middle Belt. I mean, it just flows that much better during, especially during peak traffic hours. Oh, yeah. No, and it was a pain. And I, usually my traffic flow is Maple to Orchard Lake Road. But I think about the people getting off Northwestern, getting on Orchard Lake Road, and then just, you know, tying up the whole roadway all the way back to Northwestern and probably down Northwestern because there's only one lane to turn onto Maple Road Correct. and that traffic needs to continue west and now with a double lane there that's got to really open things up. It does and in the roundabout at the other other end too also opens it up quite well I, you know you no longer are backed up at the 14 mile Orchard Lake traffic light traffic signal that was there for many uh, gosh for eons. All right Cindy good to see you again. You um, too. We'll be chatting with you and, and bring some of the road count road commission folks over and some of your engineers or whoever stops by we'd love oh, to chat with them you want, you want engineers i, I mean I, <laughs> just it, you know <laughs> listen they're not always the most just tell them to leave their uh, computers and calculators and if they're old guys slide rules over there and then we'll talk to them about. well craig and i joke with them that <laughs> we're actually their their interpreters so yes you, know, <laughs> you can't you can't build good. a road without them exactly <laughs> you know what and, and they are really a fabulous bunch i have to give them a shout out for thinking outside the box and doing things differently. Well, that's probably not a little local radio station at every one of these, so maybe they will enjoy chatting with us for a few minutes. They, they, right? You know what? They might. All right. They might. I, I can tell them that they, you know, you have a, you have an audience of engineers. They'll love this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, people are listening because they keep beeping on the way by here, so we, we appreciate that. Uh, Cindy Dingle, thank you very much for joining thank us. Thank you. Good to see Commission you again. And, County. Good to see you. And my first radio debut, by the way, was with you when we worked back in the when I was yeah, back in the legislature. Been on, we have been, we've been on the radio together in the past. We so. have. That was eons ago. I'm not saying what year that was, no. but um, but um, yeah, it, we, we've done this before. Debbie, stick around for a couple of minutes. We will chat with you in just a few. Let's take uh, a moment or two, listen to some music. We do that here every once in a while on the radio as well. And we will be back. We're live at Crispelli's on 89.3 WBLD, the all-new Lakes FM. 